The Dolby Atmos Renderer version 5 features a streamlined new user interface, native support for Apple Silicon, high-resolution ADM-B Wave file support, plus the addition of several powerful features which were previously only available as part of the Dolby Atmos Mastering Suite. Now a universal application, the Dolby Atmos Renderer has been optimized to take advantage of the latest M1 and M2 based Apple computers with improved CPU efficiency and more responsive graphics. The V5 installer also includes updated AAX silicon versions of the essential plugins for Atmos, including the Dolby Atmos Binaural Settings plugin and the Dolby Atmos Music Panner, all fully compatible with Pro Tools 2023.3 or later. From the setup menu, powerful speaker calibration tools are now included as standard within the Dolby Atmos renderer. A 27-band EQ, which can be applied and copied between individual speakers, follows a pre-EQ gain adjustment, individual speaker trims, as well as a post-EQ gain setting. Accessible from the input and master menu, the re-renders window allows the creation of multiple sets of channel-based deliverables derived from either the Atmos master file or from the input, supporting configurations such as 2.0, binaural, 5.1, and now additionally 5.1.2. The new Dolby Atmos renderer now makes it possible to work with high-resolution ADM-B Wave files. From a recorded 96K Atmos Master, we can access the file menu, then export audio to create ADM assets. It is also possible to simply open and monitor 96K ADM files within the renderer, which serves as a master archival format and a source for deriving future deliverables. Trim and downmix controls are now retained by default so when moving between different sessions or simply quitting and relaunching the renderer, your favorite settings will always be preserved. For larger mix rooms creating home theater content, it's possible to leverage array mode, which is now included with the new renderer. Array mode can help scale the optimal listening zone around the mixer. For example, when multiple producers need to be part of a mix review. When enabled, the room setup can engage up to 22 speakers composed of four different arrays. The Dolby Atmos renderer is available for qualified Mac and PC workstations. For Mac OS systems, the renderer can either be run via Core Audio on the same workstation as the DAW, or as a dedicated system networked to the primary via the remote renderer application. For Windows systems, the Dolby Atmos renderer must be run on a separate computer, and then patched via hardware I.O. connections.